Well, hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me. Today we'll be looking at Vince's trailer. Brief history on Vince's trailer and the rebuild process as I'm renovating and rebuilding it right now. This is not just a video about a trailer though. This is more testimony to my dad, what kind of man he was, the, the skills and the values that he taught me and instilled in me. Uh, my dad, Vincent Harold Rose, was born in 1932. He one of seven children. Harold and Emma Rose were his parents, my grandparents. In the early 1950s, Vince attended Cornell University in New York. He graduated with a degree in engineering. He married Lucinda Pitcairn, my mom. Since he had undergone um, his education with the ROTC program, ROTC, he was obliged to serve in the military. He was stationed in Fort Huachuca, Arizona from approximately 1955 through 1957. Uh, I was born in March 1957 at the Army Hospital in Fort Huachuca. While he was there, Vince acquired an old trailer, basically a frame and axle and wheels, which you see right here. He set about building a box out of angle iron and welded it together and fitted it with tongue and groove wood. About six months after my birth, uh, Vince and my mom moved to New York for a job and then shortly thereafter moved to Pennsylvania uh, suburbs of Philadelphia where I basically uh, spent most of my childhood and graduated high school from. One of my earliest memories was when I was about three or four years old, dad was building a helicopter in the basement. Yes, that's right, a helicopter. He had a large engine down there and he had a lot of welding equipment, tools, and he was basically building a helicopter, designing and building a helicopter in his spare time. Well, the demands of a growing family and my mom put an end to that. But during that time, I watched him as he showed me how to use tools, how to design things, how to build stuff from scratch, how to fix things. He taught me a lot of valuable skills that I've used uh, over the years and to this day. Uh, he also ta taught me some important values, uh, hard work, self-reliance, and personal responsibility. Again, great values that have served me well through life. In the early 1980s, Vince and I were both living in the Grand Junction area. I was planning to move from Colorado to New Jersey. I had a need for a trailer to hook up behind my car and haul all my personal belongings. I approached him about the trailer. I asked him if he was willing to sell it. I um, was kind of hoping he'd just give it to me, but he wasn't that sort of guy. See, and here's another valuable lesson he taught me. If you're given something, what's the value of it? Zero. You didn't pay a thing for it. You have no investment in it. It's worth nothing. So again, he taught me that you work hard if you want something you save up your money and you buy it so anyway i bought the trailer for 250 dollars i moved from colorado to new jersey in the midst of a snowstorm that was exciting and in new jersey i was able to find work um, related to my degree in commercial photography i worked as a freelance photographer and worked for an ad agency as a staff photographer for a, a period of time. Also in that time I met Cindy Barrett. We married in 1989 and around 1992 the trailer was looking pretty sad. The boards were rotted out and it really needed some attention. So we tore it apart, bought plywood, uh, refurbished the trailer, painted it blue to match the Dodge Dakota pickup we had at the time and the trailer served us well for many many years uh, now here in 2021 pretty sad shape it needs rebuilding again and here's a picture of the trailer prior to the rebuild process
Well, the first step was to remove the box and pull off all the wood. Did some minor repairs, welding work on the frame for the box. Here it is partially in primer and here's the frame of the trailer. Took the wheels off, cleaned them, spray painted them with black rust-oleum. The wheel bearings were in nice shape. I just repacked the bearings, cleaned them, repacked them. There's the plywood pulled off the trailer, pretty rough condition. I had to actually take a sawzall to the floor just to pull it out. I uh, used carriage bolts on a lot of this and they were rusted. I had to use a hammer and chisel to get a lot of the bolts broken free. Shackle bolts and shackle links were in rough, rough shape. I just pulled them out and replaced them with new. Minor details, improvements. These tie down hooks had been bolted to the wooden sides. I opted to um, weld them onto the bottom of the box frame. Here we got a couple fenders purchased from the local machine shop, painted rust oleum glossy black. Here we've got three quarter CDX plywood cut to size to fit the trailer. I'll be reassembling this trailer very soon here. Uh, I gotta thank my wife Cindy for painting these pieces of wood for me. Much appreciated. So I'm just about ready to put the wood on the trailer. I've got uh, the trailer frame and the box frame primered and painted. I'll do a little more touch-up painting. Uh, brand new tires. First time this trailer has had decent tires. And I did make some improvements to this design. Uh, this previously had been open down here and there's a big problem with the floor sagging in the middle. Uh, kind of surprising Vince built it that way given that he was an engineer but anyway um, what I did is I cut pieces of angle iron and welded them right here and here. So for the plywood floor so that it won't sag. Get rid of that problem. Another little uh, improvement I made, I welded uh, angle iron onto the tube frame and you'll notice that the box frame now has a place in the middle for the port. And better support. Well, here we go. Got the floorboards in place. Going to get those screwed into place and then put up the sides front and back. Box full of stainless steel screws. Well, just about done. Have the fenders to put on. The fenders are the right diameter. However, here's the problem. They're bolted right up against the box. They're too far in in relation to the tires. So I need about an inch and a half spacer between the fenders and the box. So figured out a way to do that. We'll take a look.
Well, here we are. The trailer is finished. Rebuilt, renewed. The uh, paint I used, this brick red paint was left over from uh, one of our rental houses in town. We painted the soffit this color and we had some leftover paint so we used that. The brown paint for the frame was left over from a previous project and I thought black was good for the fenders. So let's take a closer look. Well it turned out pretty good. Better than ever. This is the third time this trailer has been built. Fenders worked out nicely. Well centered over the tires. Tailgate. A little something extra I put on here. This is a fender badge from a 1958 Lincoln Continental. Got that on the tailgate. A little touch of class there. Drop the tailgate, got a nice roomy box in this trailer. I think my first uh, trip is going to be to town to get a load of crushed rock. Well, we lost Vince in 2008 uh, after a struggle with pancreatic cancer. Gone but not forgotten. Uh, I sure miss him. I think he'd be happy to see the trailer as it is now, rebuilt. And he was also into trees. He'd Love seeing all the trees that I planted years ago and now are very big. Thanks for watching.